So welcome to the spotlight. And hi Abina, the YouTuber with a British accent. I would have told you about you know what goes on in my day, but I know you guys don't care. So let's get on with the video. Well, so you have this everyday pen. and you need to find its center of gravity like how generic of a problem is that uh now how do you solve this problem now now if you watch a certain small youtube channel you know he has like 10 subscribers you know how to solve this what you do is balance this pen on both of your index fingers and then try to bring them closer now when one of them moves the other doesn't and this keeps happening with either of the fingers until they both together and at that point the pencil is balanced or the pen is balanced now if you try to balance that pen on that exact point it is going to balance and that is its cg or center of gravity now if you already knew how to do this let me explain how does it work and why does it work the reason behind this basically revolves around friction now the thing to know here is that there are two types of friction dynamic friction and static friction static friction according to its name acts on bodies which are not moving on two surfaces which are in contact with each other and are stationary and dynamic friction according to its name acts on uh, two surfaces which are moving relative to each other now something else to consider here is that static friction is always greater than dynamic friction it is because of well the irregularity of surfaces um they get locked when two surfaces aren't in motion and therefore the friction in general is more Now friction has two factors. One is called the frictional coefficient which is denoted by the Greek letter mu and the other is reactionary force or the force which is actually acting between the two surfaces that is perpendicular to both of them. Now let's get to understanding how I did this magic trick. Well it's not magic actually. Let's set the stage. I have this pen and it's kept on my two fingers now both the fingers are experiencing some amount of weight from the pen it's not the entire weight of the pen but it's some amount of it now as you guys guessed it one finger is experiencing more force than the other right because well for one this pen is unbalanced that's the point and the other it is humanly not possible for them to be exactly equally spaced from the center of gravity each time i do it it may be possible but That's rare, right? Now, since one finger is experiencing more weight, there's consequently more friction acting on it, right? We talked about the reactionary force. Here, the weight of the pen is the reactionary force. Now, since one finger is experiencing more friction, the other one starts moving first because, well, we are increasing the force. I try to bring my fingers closer, and that increases the force. As soon as one finger starts moving, dynamic friction starts to act on it. Now, we knew that dynamic friction is lesser than static friction. the dynamic friction on the finger actually keeps on increasing as it is moving closer to the center of gravity since the weight on it keeps on increasing and there's one point where the dynamic friction is actually more than the static friction on the other finger and at that point it starts moving and this one stops now static friction acts on this one and the dynamic friction acts on the other now this process keeps on repeating itself till we reach the center the actual center of gravity of the pen and voila you have it there the center of gravity is where both your fingers meet now one thing to know about the center of gravity is that it moves towards the heavier part of a body in this case with a lever let's say the load on one side increases now considering that load on the other side remains constant we need to move the fulcrum towards the heavier load for the lever to stay balanced over it right so the finger on the heavier side experiences more friction and consequently moves less and in turn the center of gravity moves towards it so guys that's the whole video i know these are like not too much work but still you know i'm lazy and i i kind of have a lot of going on so yeah thanks for watching i'm not going to say that cliche line um, like share and subscribe Thank you.